All right, let's get started. Find the area of the largest rectangle that fits into the triangle with those sides. Interesting. Three, four, three. Okay. X equals X axis, Y axis, and then, okay. Now, when X is zero, Y is six. When x is zero, y is six, and when y is zero, no, no, that's not right. Hang on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When x is uh, zero, y is six, and when y is zero, x is four. So, find the area of the largest rectangle that fits into the triangle with those sides. So. Okay, there's, so there's some rectangle here. Um, let's say x y. So the area is x y, which is x uh, times one minus x over four times six. So. That's equal to 6x minus 6x squared over 4, which is 3 over 2. So the derivative is 6 minus 3x, and that should equal 0. So that means x is 2. And that would mean if x is 2, so we have y over 6 equals 1 minus 2 over 4, which is a half. So that means y is 3. So the maximum area is 6. And we can confirm it's a maximum because the second derivative is minus 3, which is a negative, which makes it a max. So that should be a OK. Let's see? 3, 4, 3. Mm -hmm. Correct. Next. Three, four, four. Find the largest volume of a cylinder that fits into a cone. Okay, so we have our cone. And we want the largest cylinder that can fit inside of it. So that cylinder will have a radius height, radius, oops, radius and height, whereas the big triangle here is radius, oh, I wish they used a capital H, so I'll, I'll call this one L, so that the full height then here is H. So let's see now, what formula can we make? Probably something to do with the triangles here. So this radius <laughs> yeah, we need to make it maybe Pythagoras. So maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe this angle here is the same as this angle. So we can know that H minus L over R, H minus L over R 
will be the same as h over r. So which is what I want to replace. I can say h minus l over h times or is equal to or. So the volume is pi or squared h. That would be pi or squared over h squared h minus l squared h. So pi r squared h squared minus 2hl plus l squared over h. So that's pi r squared h minus 2l plus l squared over h. So dv dh would equal pi r squared 1 minus L squared over H squared. And that should equal 0. So that means L should equal H. Mm. No, that's not right. I lost something here. That does not seem right at all. I must have lost a constant somewhere. <laughs> pi or squared h. h pi or squared h squared h. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. Dv the h. That is pi r squared. One. Bring down the power. Reduce the power by one. Ah. Uh, I've mixed up my letters. Um, it's not H. Ah, you see, this is why I didn't like that they used the H here. It's L. It's L that I'm interested in. D, B, D, L. It's pi R squared. Uh, minus 2. Plus 2 L over H. Should equal 0. So that means, oh, it's the same result. Okay, I think because of the choice of letters, I've mixed up my variables. So let me just go back here a bit. Right, let me just highlight my variables. The variable is L and small r. So let's just rearrange this a little bit. Or times h minus l equals h times or. Okay, and the volume is pi or squared l. So um, that would be volume is pi. I screwed up my volume, didn't I? That was the problem. Pi or squared. So the or squared would be h, uh, or over h squared h minus l squared l so that would be pi or squared over h squared and then that's h squared l minus 2 h l squared plus l cubed so db dl will be pi or squared over h squared h squared minus 4hl plus 3l squared 
that should equal to zero, which means 3L squared minus 4HL plus H squared needs to equal to zero. I wonder if it's possible to factorize this. 3L, L equals zero. Um, H and H minus and minus plus H squared, 3L squared, minus 3HL, minus HL, minus R. Now that one we reject. Um, it's no volume there. So we have to have L equals H over 3. So that can give us the radius. H minus H over 3 over R equals H over R. So that would mean 2 thirds H over R equals H over R. Cancel, cancel. So R would be 2 thirds R. So that means the volume is pi or squared the height h over 3 so that will equal hopefully i have this correct now 4 over 27 pi or squared h i think that is the answer but unfortunately there's no answer at the back to check so we'll just have to move on Okay, three, four, five. Find the dimensions. How are we doing for time, actually? Okay. Find the dimensions of the closed cylinder volume that has the least amount of surface area. Okay, so you've got your cylinder and the surface area, which is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h should equal 16 pi. So that means R squared plus RH should equal 8. The volume is pi R squared. I can clean that up a little bit um, because I could say H equals 8 minus R squared over R. So that's pi R squared H, which is 8 minus R squared over R. Cancel, cancel. So that's 8 pi or minus pi or cubed equals 0. So dv. Oh, doing it the wrong way. Sorry. It's the volume is uh, 16 pi, not the surface area. I think because there was no units there, it kind of threw me a bit. So pi r squared h equals 16 pi. The pi's cancel. So we get h equals 16 over r squared. And the surface area is 2 pi r squared plus um, 2 pi r h, which is 16 over r squared. Cancel that. So the surface is 2 pi r squared plus 32 pi over r. So ds dr would be 4 pi r minus 32 pi over r squared needs to equal 0. Cancel the pi's. Divide by 4. So we get R equals 8 over R squared. So R is the cube root of 8. And then the height would be 16 over the cube root of 64. Um, well, the cube root of 8 we know. So the radius will be 2. And... Um, The cube root of 
64 is 4. So that's a 2 4, it looks like. Let's see. Yeah, 2 4. Um, let's confirm it. Um, that would be 4 pi plus 64 pi over r cubed, which is um, 4 pi. And then, yeah, that's a positive. So, yeah, that makes it a minimum. Okay, great. And finally, find the dimensions of a right cone with surface area 4 pi that has the largest volume. Mm. Okay. Find the dimensions of the right cone 